Can I help you? Got the 20 real? Good. You got the room for the night, but remember, you'll need another 20 real tomorrow. Hello, dear. There you are again. of Kuno. The fuck do you want with it? Yeah, Kuno doesn't know shit about that. That shit is beneath Kuno. Listen, listen. Kuno doesn't care about this small... Kuno could hook you up with some sweet rags. Shit like Kuno's wearing. Your size, good price. F You'd have to be blind not to notice the giant white letters F-A-L-N running down his trouser leg. Modulars, liquid fit, performance crotch, urban survival shit, made in Mirova by scientists, pants scientists. Believe it, you need this shit. These could drastically improve your chances of survival in the urban wilderness. Coach Physical Instrument endorses these pants. They are tough. They will also make you into an idiot. Look, Kuno ain't seen shit lying around, except for that. The lieutenant remains. All right, Piggo, shit's rolling. Don't do business with the pig, Coon. As you can see, Kuno and C don't trust you. Can't do business without trust. There's more to his distrust than being a pig. He feels threatened by something obscure in you. What that is, however, remains a puzzle for- The fuck? A mug in the trash? Is this about the fucking clothes again? Yeah, Kuno sees where this is going. Kuno's got that fast brain. You saying you pigs are after the mug fucker? Cause he's the clothes fucker? I can't hear you, Kuno! Speak louder, Kuno! Shit, that's tense. Someone's going to the beat-down basement, huh? Mug guy gonna get tied to the radiator. Kuno doesn't know who put that shit in there. And if he did, he wouldn't squeal. Tell the Kuno who it was. He's curious. He likes putting two and two together here. Stop turning into a pig, Kuno! They're trying to get you hooked on the snitching! Get away from my Kuno f Yeah? Get your bacon shit away! Kuno doesn't like to be seen with the popo! Get your shit done and out of Kuno's face!
Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Kuno does... I help you? Thanks. I hope you found what you were looking for. How strange. I certainly didn't put them there. Sylvie had the keys before I got here, and I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my stuff. None of us would tamper with the crime scene. The trash collection service, CS Municipal. I don't see... Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last and when. This will have to be one of those little threats that solves itself down the road. Thank you anyway. Yes. Stuck in the rain in a traffic jam, man. What's up? The woman still has her eyes fixed. Good day to you, officers.
The boomboxes wait on the shelves. And... Hello, hello. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Let all rest in peace. She died of pneumonia two winters ago. It was a quiet pony and I were both by her bedside when she... Died. No use sugarcoating it. Departed. Hmm. Until the very hand she couldn't dis... We knew her. All right. Lived on the same street our entire lives, just two houses apart. The three of us have been best friends. She was Rene's first girl back when the prick was 16. They were courting till he decided he'd rather die for some great ideal than just be happy. And then you stole her from me. Well... Technically, you stole her from me, because we'd been pretty close ever since you two had that falling out over the ink you spilled off. We were just boys then. This was different. You. No point starting this all over again. For the thousandth and the first time. Especially when we have company. Officer. She could never make up her mind about anything. What to have for breakfast, favorite color, or which one of us to marry. She was always leaving one of us for the other, but never long enough to actually get married. Heck, technically, we're both still engaged to her. You always confused her. Couldn't let us be happy. So Justa with your fancy words and taste. He suddenly remembers you are still there. Falls silent. Of course, officer. Memories are all we have left. Let me think. I heard someone was hanged and left on a tree for a week. But that's all I know, really. No, officers. I'm sorry. Then help them, you wimp. You have plenty of shoulder with the ghost caviar in the Union. Someone must know something. He means caviar socialists. I wish I could, but I just don't know anything. I always... Odd. He doesn't seem to be lying, but there's something off here. I'm not... I'm not even anyone... Of course he's holding back. His mouth is so full of union prick he can't even speak properly. Can I at least finish my fucking sentence before you piss on it? Is that okay, René? I'm not anyone impotent in the union. I just know Evart. Everyone in Martinez knows the Clare brothers. I told these boys... What do you know about history? You never witnessed history. Only held about it years later. The old soldier mumbles something under his breath. There he stands, proud, rigid and alone, like a cracking marble. Let's try not to get caught in a crossfire. Oh, in many ways, yes. Like an honorary member. 
I attend meetings and parties. Help with little things. Evrard! Oh, yes. Not in the technical sense. I don't have a vote or a membership card. But Evrard keeps me... So that's what it was before. Him hiding something. He tries to make it look like he's a big deal in the Union. And now the illu... He doesn't know anything. Because no one tells him. Of course he's not a member. He's not a member of anything. I knew that. I hate this socialist rabble. But even siding with them is better than living your entire life on the fence. Writing work mostly. Occasionally, he needs something written and I ha Oh, nothing official, I assure you. Just essays for the newspapers. About Mark. Well, he tells his little penman exactly what to say. It's commie propaganda, plain and simple. You should be ashamed of yourself. On the Union track? I don't even consider myself a regular socialist. Politics is not really something I involve myself in, officer. Officer, I have a vivid imagination. <laughs> and like I said, I have a way- He just fluffs it up. Of course. Don't sink into anything. Don't sink into any fight. Only sink into your couch. I believe everyone has the right to sink and do whatever they want. Come on, you. No, thank you. For being consummate professionals, you'll have... Vigilance officer, what can this old carabineer do for you? There's nothing for you to understand here. It is not our death you are investigating. Absolutely not. She died of pneumonia in her bed at the age of 79. This is highly usual. Revachal Fair of 91 in the Forberg district. A parade was held to honor Guillaume Lullion's name day, and the Carabineers marched in the place of honor. This was the happiest day of my life. I was 22 when I returned from King Guillaume's Aikira operation in the south and found my sweetheart in the arms of... The Aikira operation was a seven-year campaign during which suzerain Guillaume's army forcefully united the people in the southeastern part of La Petite Continent. I won her back, but while I was dealing with some... You were like a dark cloud sucking the joy out of every living thing around you. And you... you... hurt her. I... Uh, I... Those days and memories are gone. The old soldier says nothing, but when his glance quickly runs over Gaston's face, there's an odd look in his eyes. Just an ordinary war. Nothing to see here. Trying to sneak up on me again! Trying to snuff me out! Yes?
This door has been closed with a padlock. A chalk drawn number on the board says, number. You hear someone walking around, a poor communard. Do I have to open the door? Do you have? Let's go. We don't have. It's generally. E Give me a moment. Hello again, officers. Have you come to admire my mural? back. Good. What can I help you with? Not an umbrella, I hope. I don't need one myself, you see. Very rugged. Good choice. Now, I suspect you had questions. Nothing like talking to pass a rainy day. Am I right? You have. And how did you like Mr. Clare? Of course. He must have his practical uses. How else could he have kept his position all these years? Or wait, he could have kept it with corruption. Fantastic, verm-like, corruption that reaches into the bowels of the earth. The RCM does not pick size in this, madame. I hope it doesn't come off any other way. Of course. And I don't expect you to share anything he told you with me. How could I stop you? Are we not human? Are we not curious to hear another person's take? It's only natural. Intellectually speaking, it would be quite interesting to hear what she has to tell her. She'll like you for it. A referral, you mean? I take it this was for someone in the RCM. Don't answer that. Such referrals may sometimes get you information from a man like Evrat. Did it? Detective, I advise you to be very selective with what information you choose to share. This may have consequences beyond our line of sight. The company did not send mercenaries after the Union. I told you in great detail about the mistakes my side made. And of course, I accept them completely. I just hope you don't share Everard's view on things. After all, as he said, one's dead now. The pi Let's keep it that way, she means to add, but then doesn't. Yes, that's the talk about town. The Hardy Boys, they're called. <laughs> Find the name rather amusing, honestly.
How benevolent. Hopefully they'll help you sort this whole business out, if they haven't already. We cannot discuss the specifics of an ongoing investigation, ma'am. Besa that is only fair. Well, I hope it yields something. Otherwise, you'll have opened that door for naught. Anything else? I wouldn't have taken Evrat for a saber rattler. Was he surrounded by Union men he wanted to impress? No. It was more like he wanted things to get worse. In secret, of course. Yes. Evrat is a showman at heart. There's always that risk, ma'am. But if I may offer my opinion, he means it. I'll think it over, Detective. Thank you for relaying this- Have I underestimated the Union's ferocity? She has to ask herself by now. What you've said is quite enough. You've given me a lot to consider, and may have helped me prevent this conflict from escalating. Sounds like he has you running errands, Detective. A well-established dominance ritual. Where did he have you deliver it? Ah, yes. I've been meaning to go there. With longing. Clear and simple longing. Strange. Why does she want to go? A youth center with Edgar Clare's statue on top of it. Go ahead. Help him. Make it so. I have no power to stop him. I should be. In my youth, I had a brief dalliance here in Martinez. He was an older man with impossibly broad shoulders. He's probably dead by now. Even his shack is long gone. Not that it matters. These buildings are all carbon copies of one another. Yes, I was slumming it with some girlfriends of mine. We had boats and... Don't hold it against me. My paramour certainly did not. Not overly so. It's not like this was the only place we visited. Me and my girlfriends from Azon with our shiny boats. Like reavers. We told ourselves we were the worst thing to happen to the coast since the Coalition landed in 08. Imagine. Yes. I'm sad I'll never have the time, Detective. I've always wanted a dilapidating fishing village. She is more defensive about it than usual. Full of ghosts and ancient memories. Has this errand yielded you any information? Oh. That's... The Lieutenant looks at you, and you can swear his jaw must... He's able to contain the anger and surprise. Unconventional police officers sometimes lose their guns. They then go around and tell people about this, to gauge their reactions. It's all part of... Incredible. Simply incredible. And how is it going? Has this detecting produced a gun? Ah, uh, yes. As you said... Please, don't get him in a loop. If he gets in a loop, it will last forever. That's wrong. You don't get into totally slanderous. Maybe you've gotten into one. Of course. Thank you for the advice. I'm glad you were here to... The lieutenant will be more lenient toward sharing those. Of course. Until then, is there anything I can help you with? 